As the global economy undergoes rapid transformation, the need for a comprehensive overhaul of labor laws has become increasingly evident with the emergence of gig work, remote employment, and technological advancement altering the way people work. Many now argue that the existing regulations are falling short in safeguarding the interests of both laborers and companies. Welcome to the very first episode of Money Mondays. Here, following the money is our main responsibility. How it works, where it works, when it works, who it works for, and why the young people are at the very center of everything money. Live from the Kualib TV studios here in Akuru, Kenya, I'm Kaleb Koyo. And today, we begin uh, by talking uh, about money, by understanding how labor laws work here in Kenya. Labor laws in Kenya are a set of rules and regulations that govern the rights and obligations of employers and employees in the workplace. The International Labour Organization, which Kenya is a part of, oversees employment issues in its member states and deals with problems such as social protection, equal employment opportunities, and uh, international labour standards. But uh, labour laws are actually divided into collective labour laws, which involve the relationship between the union, the employer, and the employee, and also individual labour laws, which deal with the relationship between the employer and the employee without the involvement of trade unions. There are several employee rights in Kenya that should be observed. Every employee and employer must adhere to the following laws. Now, let's understand Kenyan labor laws on termination of employment. In case you're employed somewhere and they want to terminate you, what should you actually understand in that entire procedure? Employment termination is when the employee-employer relationship comes to an end. According to the law, the employer can lawfully terminate the employment based only on the following grounds. The first one is employee's misconduct. The second is workers' poor performance. The third is the physical incapacity of the worker confirmed after only a medical uh, examinations, and also employers' operational requirements such as uh, retrenchment. Now, employees' participation in an illegal strike can also lead to termination of contract. The, the termination notice should be done in writing or orally in case the employee cannot read. Note that the employer can terminate the employment contract at any moment, but the employee must be given a notice uh, which ranges from uh, one day for those who are paid daily to one month for those who have uh, a monthly payment agreements. The same applies when the employee wants to ter terminate employment for various reasons. If either party does not give a termination notice, they must make payment of salary in lieu notice. Unfair termination occurs when reasons for terminations are not provided, even though the law protects you for such situations as well. Now, let us understand Kenyan labor laws on resignation. If you want to resign from your job, what should you do as a young person? Resignation is a notice that you're quitting your job. Labor laws in Kenya on resignation are under the Employment Act. The condition uh, for terminating the contract by the um, employee can actually apply here. Employees who receive monthly payments must inform the employer one month before they stop working. If an employee does not give the employer the notice, they should pay the employer the equivalent of the wages for that period. If the employee's resignation violates a contractual obligation to the work, they may be liable for damages. Now, how about Kenyan labor laws on working hours? Under the regulation of uh, ages order, subsidiary to the regulations of wages and conditions of employment act, the total working hours are 52 hours per week. Normal working hours every week is 45 in Kenya. A person employed at night may not work for more than 60 hours weekly. Employees below 16 years of age cannot work for more than 36 hours a week. If an employer works more than those normal hours weekly, the extra hours are treated as overtime and they should be paid for that. Overtime shall be paid at the rate of and one half hourly rate on weekends and a date twice the basic hours rates on Sunday and public holidays. Employers can schedule overtime for their employees actually. An employee is entitled to a weekly rest day after working for six days. That's very important. We have to rest at work. Now, let's understand Kenyan labor laws on retrenchment. The Employment Act of Kenya 207 de defines retrenchment as the loss of a job or occupation through no employee's fault. Retrenchment happens mostly when the services of the employee are no longer needed. The Labor Laws Regulation Act of 207 governs labor laws in Kenya regarding to employee uh, unionization. Individuals over the age of 16 can join trade unions according to one of the labor laws on trade union registration. 
if you are 16 and you're working, you can join a union. Assume an employee belongs to a labor union. In that case, the employer should notify the local trade union official by issuing a notice less, uh, not less than 30 days before the retrenchment. If the employee is not a member of a union, the employer must notify them in writing of the termination. Severance pay is the only payment for redundancy. In Kenya, this pay is equivalent to 15 days of basic wages for each completed year in employment. An employee is not entitled to service pay if they are a member of a registered pension fund, gratuity or service pay scheme also established under the collective agreement or any other scheme provided by the employer whose terms are actually favorable. Now, how about Kenyan labor laws on maternity leave? According to Employment Act of 2 Seven. Female workers are entitled to three months, 91 calendar days of fully paid maternity leave on the birth of a child. The worker must give written notice of at least seven days before proceeding on maternity leave on a specific date and return to work after the completion of the three months. When on maternity leave, the female employee will receive her full salary. The maternity leave can be extended with the employer's consent or uh, if a worker is sick or any other situation that may occur at that time. A female employee who takes maternity leave shall not incur any loss of privileges. Even if she is at home, every privilege that uh, the colleagues have at work, she should be given uh, those as well. So that's very, very important for you to understand. How about Kenyan labor laws on salaries and uh, wages? Under the law, every worker is entitled to receive full payment for work. Uh, full uh, pay includes wages, which are payments made hourly, daily, weekly, or uh, even a piecemeal. Full pay may also be salary, which is fixed monthly, or uh, any payment made for professional work done in the office. Any allowance uh, may be paid with the worker's consent as long as it is for the worker's benefit. Wage deductions are not permitted in exchange for job placement. Employers are required actually to give pay slips to all employees at or before each payday except for casual uh, employees who are employed for a period of uh, time less than six months. In a world where work is at the heart of our daily lives, labor laws stand as a critical shield protecting the rights and dignity of employees. These laws are not just a set of rules, they are the lifeline ensuring that workers are treated fairly and with respect in their workplaces. The significance of labor laws cannot be overstated. They are the cornerstones of a society that values the well-being and the rights of its workers. As we move forward, let us recognize that strong labor laws are not only important for em employees, but also uh, for the health and vitality of the entire workforce and the economy. That's all for, uh, for today. See you next week on another Money Monday installment. I'm Caleb Koya, and you remember, Money Monday looks at how many money, uh, money works in the continent who it works for how it works where it works and specifically uh, why the young people are at the center of everything money in the sub-saharan continent I'm Caleb Koro take care see you next time